perfect parking job. Oh. <laughs> the alarm came off late as hell. Oh, yeah, way late. Welcome back to Ridiculous This. Give it up for our guest, Kurt Bush. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Kurt, talk about the NASCAR fans compared to all other sports fans. Oh, my. We have the most fanatical fans. I mean, body paint, their favorite <laughs> driver. They will drive endless hours to get to the race, and then they don't stop partying when they get there. <laughs> no, right? Like, you party yourself, like... Through, through qualifiers, through whatever, the early races. It's like, because how long is the whole race weekend? Like, three or four days? Yeah, three, four days, and uh, they take a nap during the race because they've partied so right. hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a specific name? Our fans? Yeah. No, not okay. a real, like, right. specific well, look, name. But... I, I think we've come up with a name that might make a little bit of sense. <laughs> uh, we call it Trackheads. Take a look. I like that. I like that. <laughs> You don't know I what he's ready it. for. I mean, I gotta believe this is for like my valuables, my wallet, and my tickets, and this is for beer. <laughs> Real barrel racing. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, oh. Could you flick somebody off and they would see it while oh, you yeah. drive? Oh, it happens all the time. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah. Ain't that you better run like hell, though, when you do it. Right. <laughs> what is he doing? See, that's why you got to go to the race so you can feel it. He feels you it. Can feel it. <laughs> that's really what it feels like, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> having the most relaxing weekend ever. Everybody be jelly of him. I ain't been to hover around, mother <laughs> Based on that for me. No, no, no. I didn't invent the hover around, but I certainly improved it. <laughs> OK, all right, OK. Oh, no. No. Oh. That's right. Come on. But nobody reacts. Like, this is some normal NASCAR right here. Like, no one tries to break it up. Everybody's like, yep. No, no, settle this. Hey, go back. Are they listening to the? What are they doing? <laughs> they got the scanner on. They're listening to the drivers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can listen into the teams, yeah. But this guy's not listening into the teams. <laughs> At all. <laughs> so you trying to tell me that everything you say, people have an opportunity to listen to? Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> every cuss word, every team communication. Yes, it's yeah. all oh, open. Yeah. That's dope. Wow. And I haven't figured out how to get paid from it yet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, look at it. How, okay, all right. Now, why would he do that? I gotta believe that, that there's gotta be a way to arrest this guy so this <laughs> does not happen. It's and, technically alcohol abuse. It, it technically <laughs> is. And look, and you wanna know who's not happy about it? His woman. Go ahead. She's so embarrassed to be with him after that. <laughs> that was my beer. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna waste a beer. Oh. <laughs> NASCAR racing, is there anything worse than getting loose? Ah, man, when you're getting loose, you're about ready to wreck. So, but if you keep it right on that edge, loose is fast. Okay, is loose it? Is, is that how, Okay, so when you're riding tight, what does that mean? Uh, you're scrubbing speed and the, the car won't quite turn. Okay, so when you're getting loose, that back end. Yeah, a little fishtail, yeah. You know, and then sideways. what happens when it lets go? What do you call that? Uh, oh, Yeah. <laughs> 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 entire category of <laughs> old <laughs> called getting loose. Take All a right. look. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> you look for real. Oh. Bro. Man. Construction site, here I come. <laughs> what is that fence made out of? Paper? Watch that back tire, Billy. Watch that back tire, Billy. Oh, it's gone. Oh! That's best case. Best yeah. case scenario. Yeah. Not bad. Best case scenario, you roll that. They must teach that in like stunt school. He just rides it out. <laughs> right off the side of the road, he's fine. Scale one to 10, that's a 10. That's a 10, man. Call him an Uber and he's headed home. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Innocent bystander. Oh. Oh. Just trying to live in this 86 Camaro sends you into a tree. <laughs> oh, bro, he came in so fast. Man, he came in so, so hot. hot, and thank God all them. Damn, this is Never that? stand on the outside of the track like that. You gotta be on the inside where man, the camera guy is. At least they were on a what seems to be a pile of rocks. <laughs> Welcome, Bubba Wallace. Yeah, you know how hard that is. You know how hard it is to get all those, those Absolutely. titles in there. Absolutely. Right? What's up, how you doing, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Man, you, you know, look, nice you. you got a NASCAR driver in here. You, you understood the pressure I was under right there. Absolutely. Because it's like Xfinity. That by itself is hard to say, right? You said it a little slow. We're look, all about being fast. I couldn't because I was too nervous on executing. <laughs> Tell me about the lifestyle of being a professional NASCAR driver. It has its ups and downs for sure, okay. but uh, this is pretty cool. We get to do stuff like this. Yeah. Meet the awesome people right here on the couch and <laughs> be part of the yeah. show, so it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Let's talk about the downs. And what about when you get smashed? Like, are you scared? Depends on how hard the wreck is. Yeah. And so what, what's the official term in NASCAR for when you start bumping each other on there? Um... Given the chrome horn, uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> Never expected that yeah. at all. Like, yeah. Chrome horn, yeah, that's it. We are gonna set this show off in the purest of NASCAR forms with a category we call chrome horn. <laughs> Perfect parking job. Oh. The alarm came off late as hell. Oh, yeah, way late. Like, I got hit 10 minutes ago while my <laughs> just going off. Look, it just waits. You know what? I'm gonna let my owner know right now. All right, here we go. Like, what? Let me hold that door open for you. The camera person is laughing so hard. Listen to the evil laugh. <laughs> I just got my license to cause chaos. All right. Honestly, I did a couple, but I'd like to do a couple oh, more. Oh, OK. All right. Oh. All right, oh. you got to keep moving. They definitely just stole beer. <laughs> there you have it. Wow. All right, we got an Instagram video of Maybe this is popular, but to me, it looks like you've invented some sort of sport. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah. I mean, around the world ping pong? What do we got? Everybody's playing nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this your invention? I mean, so, what is this? So, uh, Joey Logano, he raced in the Sprint Cup Series. I kind of adopted that from him. And that's what it is, is around the world pong. That's something that people play all the time? Only the racing buddies that I know of. <laughs> right? OK, well, look, we decided to, to build a category of other sports that we think people invented as well called <laughs> next level games. Take a look. <laughs> This looks impossible. And the crowd goes bored. Like, okay. how do they all hear about this sport? Like, <laughs> seriously. What Facebook group is this? But it's like, the fact that enough people are crowded along, clearly of an older demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at just man, it's man jumping. He looks like a goddamn lion. <laughs> like, like carrot top. <laughs> carrot top, carrot top. <laughs> You right? It just hits her hard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it literally did look like a buff carrot top. Well, carrot, carrot top is buff. buff. Yeah. <laughs> let her lift, let her flop. You know what? You know this is not fun. You know this is like, it was having a conversation like, what sport can we create that black people just won't do? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, they'll never try this. <laughs> <laughs> 50 different people believed in that. Okay, this is the most serious fan in the history <laughs> of head ping pong. No, oh, no, oh, oh no, oh no. I, I can't anymore. Come on! Here 
you have it for Next Level Sports. Welcome to the Ridiculousness 500. Are you confused? Are you confused? What are we doing? Where are we at? And explain to the crowd how this show works. I don't know the answer to any of those questions. <laughs> Okay, let me fill you in. This is what's going on. We are dedicating this particular episode to auto racing. I've done all types of racing all over the world. I once did the Gumball 3000. I've been to Ferrari racing school. I've done what I like to call illegal street racing. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you are racing cars, the only way to win is to be passing people, right? You start from the back, what's your option? You get to the front. That's it. What do you do when you get to the front? You celebrate. That's right, what do you do? How do you celebrate? Okay, the only way to win an auto race is to be a pass master. Take a look. Man, I could be going right here, horse. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. That's nice. How is he even racing? Yeah. He like slow all the way down. Yeah. He put a signal on. <laughs> Eat dirt, soccer mom. <laughs> Oh, Lambo. Oh, damn. How are you going to beat that Lambo? Lambo. Whoa, hello. Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? Coming through. Hello, hello, hello. That's Subaru. <laughs> Easy. But why would you do all that just to get behind him? Like, yeah. yeah. You're still in second. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's only one way for me to get ahead of this. This is like steroids. You can't turn yourself into a human rocket. <laughs> That's amazing, though. That's it amazing. It is, man. I'll see you gentlemen at the Whole Foods. <laughs> this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Got you. Oh! Whoa, he like rolled over the <laughs> How my lug nuts taste. <laughs> All right, there you have it for Pass Master. We are racing through categories. Pass. So a NASCAR car, mm -hmm. how do you get in and out of it? The door? No, no, they do not have doors because doors are dangerous at 200 miles an hour. They only have windows, right? And the reality of it is, is you just got to learn to jump in and jump out like a Duke boy. <laughs> Okay, just like NASCAR race drivers got to get in and out of that window, every single one of these people have created a new way to leave, and we call it NASCAR exits. Take a look. You got yourself in a corner, baby. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Push on that. Be free, little baby. Oh, hello. Oh. That ain't baby proof. I got it. Oh. How did you miss? You miss, like, like, for real. Man, the most half-assed attempt to jump out of a window. <laughs> oh. oh, man, it just feels like somebody's parents' house. <laughs> Not another intervention. I don't got a problem. <laughs> oh, uh, you, Oh. Wait, you know what I love, though? You can tell it's kind of Christmas time with, like, the plaid sweats yeah. and all the red. And a reindeer just comes yeah. in. Like, <laughs> I would be like, this is tight around Christmas time. <laughs> you know, this, this, this mother was, like, in Santa Claus's whole setup in the middle of the mall yeah. and was just like, man. He was working there. I don't want to be a part of this Christmas <laughs> I'm not a reindeer. I'm just a normal-ass deer. <laughs> there you have it for NASCAR exits. Welcome, Chase Elliott. That was amazing. That was hard. That, that was a lot to get out. Hey, thank yeah, you. Man. I appreciate it. Oh, man. What's up, man? How are you? How are you? Big fan? Chase, you're our very first NASCAR guy, man. Hey, I like it. That's good. <laughs> so tell me about, like, growing up wanting to be a NASCAR driver. Since it's kind of in your family, it was just something you did right out the gate, right? It was, yeah. So my, uh, my dad raced for a long time. Uh, always grew up going to the racetrack with him, and I think that kind of sparked my interest and uh, had some really good opportunities at a young age to go race and just kind of pursued it from there. Now, did he instill in you always go left? 
Uh, it depends. I mean, some days, some days you don't have a choice, but uh, I mean, he definitely, he tried to get that across, I would say, yeah. Well, check this out. We found a bunch of videos of people in cars uh, that we believe that they only have one side of the brain, right? Right. Because they can only go left just like NASCAR. We call it right. left brain. Take a look. I'm gonna go left and I'm gonna keep uh, left, left, left. Where were you going? Still on the gas. Yeah. Like, didn't even let up. Yeah, I mean, in motorcycle racing, they call it whiskey throttling. What, what do you guys call it? I guess same thing. We don't really have a term, but that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> Got that vet? You know where I'm headed. So oh! I totally recorded that. <laughs> What happened? I guess she thought she was at Daytona or something. <laughs> I guess. She's so surprised she caught it on camera, though. How is she surprised she's filming the whole I totally recorded that. <laughs> she's just like pulled over the freeway off ramp. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a Tercel. Bob, it's a Tercel. <laughs> oh, man, like this makes me feel like this could be me. <laughs> like trying to show off in my fancy car. Like, what? You know what it is? It's a Lambo. Oh, oh, oh. Look out. I'm trying to be rich through here. <laughs> you know they happy as hell, though. They about to get paid, both of them. <laughs> Does anybody need to go to the bathroom? It's going to be a quick exit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't understand why you sped up. <laughs> to hit probably the most dangerous thing in an entire city you could hit. But it's okay. He, he missed the curb, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going left. I'm staying left. I'll tell you, I'm just going to oh, sort really? of go left, and I'm going to keep going oh left. Bye! God. Wait, time out. Was that Mary Poppins on her way to work, though? <laughs> Like, who just robbed an umbrella, like? With an umbrella on a sunny day. Like, there's not even a drop of rain. Look, Mary Poppins has pasty skin. She doesn't want to sun down, okay? There you have it for left brain. All right, Chase, so what, what is it like to win? Ah, oh, well, it usually it means you had a good day, right? Like, what? This is it. Yeah, man. You get fired up, and you try not to do anything dumb afterwards, which I'm guilty of doing, usually. <laughs> so. What has happened? I mean, have you have you got into the spun outs and just, like, put that thing into a crowd of people? I, I, I have uh, run it in the wall before, so that's a bad thing. <laughs> man, was it, like, barely into the wall, or did you have to, like, get you cra you It no longer worked, and you had to get out, like, oh, stop. No, no, it was, it was barely, but the smoke covered it up, so nobody knew. Y'all are the first ones, so. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's confidential. Don't tell anybody. Hey, we get it, yeah. man. <laughs> what we call that is having a victory lapse. And this entire category is filled with people doing that. Take a look. Clear it out. Victory! Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> I love oh. that he's so pumped to go against a seven to eight year old. Like. <laughs> He like 30. Why are you back here playing with him? <laughs> Score to goal! Time to retire! Oh! Hey, look. Yeah, yeah. This boy just keeps cheering. <laughs> All right, we good. We good. We good. <laughs> oh, yeah. You Wait, did it, girl. Michelle. You did Oh! <laughs> the dude announced it. He cut himself off. <laughs> He's like, Rachel, oh, <laughs> Rachel, Michelle, Hutchinson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Did it. I'm a cart champion. And I'm out. Oh. <laughs> OK. He just got ragged, though. Look how bummed he is. <laughs> he throws up his hands like I'm such an asshole <laughs> when he's going backwards. So first, look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, and then the go-kart game, man, they don't have seat belts. Did you race carts when you I were did. a kid? I did, I did. Yeah, no seat belt, so. They don't, right? You're, you're headed out if you hit Yeah, something. it's ridiculous. He's very concerned. I know, he seems so concerned. How about you make some seat belts for those guys? Here's the reality. 
I just don't see any business in it. <laughs> My business is seeing them fly out of it. 15 hour race, I'm the champ. Oh, oh no! no. And you know he's gonna get up and it's just gonna be just bloody skin everywhere. His <laughs> just got drugged, bro. <laughs> Like, he just, oh, oh, no. oh, oh, my God. All right, Chase, tell me about the time you decided to take a, an off-road vehicle into a tree. I did, man. I don't really know why my parents left me in the vehicle by myself, but <laughs> I, I was probably five, hopped in this side-by-side -side thing and just right into a tree. I'm, I'm just saying, like, that's where you build up that ability to like, you know, go 200 miles an hour and clip a wall, you know what I mean? At five years old, you hit a tree. Well, started young, <laughs> I guess. Well, everybody in this next category decided to use trees as a stopping device. We call it tree breaks. Coming in high, looking for a way to slow down. How about this mid-size oak? This could have been you. But, oh! Whoa. This kid's a future NASCAR driver. Look, he's got his full throttle and he's only going left. <laughs> Cruising. I need to slow, I'm going way too fast. I need to slow down. Oh! Oh! Is that a pun? <laughs> Don't stand in my way, Forrest. Oh, oh there's nobody in there. Oh, really? That was in the beginning. <laughs> That's disappointing. You trying to tell me you built some weird full-size, like, remote control truck? You know it's like the town ghost, right? <laughs> I swear to God, he's real. Watch this. For the life of me, I could not understand why none of them were concerned. <laughs> I watched this, like, two or three times, and these motherfuckers, like, this just like, man, if he's dead, he's dead. <laughs> OK, a little bit of snow kayaking. The kayaks even have brakes. Oh. What the hell? What the, <laughs> what the heck? There ain't a tree within a mile except for that one. I mean, does he really need the paddle? I... <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? He's using that tree for tree breaks. There you have it. All right, we are at the end of the show here where we have a little segment we call Flash Forward. So we look at a, a video of someone really young and, and see how they evolved into doing the exact same thing when they're older. Let's take a look. Cody, why are you crying? Because I wanted to try to win. <laughs> so you wouldn't think a child this small would be so passionate about sports, but it's in his blood and it's gonna carry on with him for the rest of his life. Take a look. Eagles, man, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> that it's just a game. All right, that's it for our show. Thank you to Chase Elliott, Christine O'Brien, and Chanel West Coast. I'm Rob Derrick. We'll see you next time on Ridiculous Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah.